okay, who was it? Crystal when half when he got left at the altar. Oh, mm-hmm. I, okay. I don't know that story. Yeah, no. Remember, like he was going to marry Crystal, and she left him at the altar, and like the whole wedding was canceled, and she stole her car and all this shit. Okay. Like, you y- yeah. I don't. Re- I don't remember it. No. And then they got married on New Year's Eve, and she came back, and like well, anyway. I do. Yep. Now that you say it, now I do because they ended somewhere, up getting married, though. Yes. Yeah, no, they did. So somewhere in the interim of that, when she ran away brides and screws them over, and then decides to come back, my I went to the mansion, and it was like fun in the sun. We're out by the pool, and Crystal hadn't come back yet, so they hadn't been married yet. She'd already run away, and I don't think returned. And my dad, I remember I gave, and I've never, like, I've spoken on the phone to half, like, twice, like, randomly. Like, he usually has secretaries, like, so it's a big thing when you talk on the phone with him. Yeah. My dad was on the phone with me, and he was like, let me tell half about marriage. And I was like, hold on. <laughs> so I'm like, half, my dad wants to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just so awkward. But, like, I mean, he doesn't care. So I hand him the phone, and my dad's life <laughs> advice is... Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. marriage is overrated and pussies undefeated <laughs> <laughs> welcome fellow lushes come on in pull up a bar stool and enjoy some cocktails with dimples and the beard is it working <laughs> We can hear you. <laughs> can you see me? Oh, there now we I can. Ah, yay, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Is oh, it? y'all are so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it. Oh, a little setup. That's so fun. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we're uh we're slowly building with stuff that we get. And so I love it. Yeah. Love it. So if you're, when you're done, if you know, when we're done, if you want to sign us, send us a signed headshot, we'd put her up. I I already know what I'm contributing. I'm sending you a signed pair of bunny ears to like, Uh, like a something like, I love it. Something. Oh my gosh. That would be awesome. That's awesome. We will definitely find a spot. So I already already know. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's better, but thank you so much for joining. Of course. No, thank you guys for having me. Amber Campisi. Is my am I saying the last name right? You are. You're nailing it. Okay, perfect. Miss February 2005. <laughs> What's that? Off to a good start. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's good to get the name right. It's I, always nice to get the the guest name right. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have asked a few times because there are some last names that I was. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, and I won't ask who's Jim and who's the beard because I'm not. I, I got it already. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. Well, yeah. good. We don't like to make it too tricky for people. So, <laughs> yeah, you never know. I am now. I am now forever stuck in this beard unless we get rid of this podcast. So, I know. And I'm wondering if you have dimples under there. Maybe I might. I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen. Who so. knows? Who knows what's underneath there? Yeah. Stay tuned. That might be my next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did shave it off early on, and then got yelled at by this guy. So I've had to grow it back. So. <sighs> So there's no a brand. There we are. Yeah, it's a brand. It's well, you are a busy gal. You oh, are I, just... love, I can see the Tobo Chico in the background. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> That's we got... what... Cheers. We've Cheers got to ours. You. Cheers to you. Tito's. And mineral water. Delicious. First time I've had it with mineral water. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What do you usually have it with? Um, I, I will drink it with just regular water. Okay. Well, um, or Sprite or ginger ale or something, but it's yeah, it's or, tasty. Or lemonade or Red Bull. Well, or... You're a fan of my cocktail already. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you can't drink vodka with? I don't think so. I don't think so. High C that works sometimes. Hawaiian Punch. Emergency, uh, like yeah. Some vitamins. Yeah, why not? Or just straight out of the freezer. So <laughs> <laughs> done that too. <laughs> so last time you were. In Hawaii, if I remember correctly. I was in Grand Cayman and could not make the scheduled time. I'm so sorry. And now I'm paler than I was back (laughs) then. I could have been tan and glorious and relaxed. And now I'm at home. I just finished putting the sheets on my bed, like normal, normal stuff. (laughs) 
<laughs> and to be fair, you were in the Grand Cayman Islands for what? Four months? You're correct. Four months. Wow. That's crazy. And you do that. Do you do that every year? I, I will be now. Yes. That is a good life plan. I like it. <laughs> for that length of time? Wow. <laughs> I know. I thought I would be bored on a small island, but it was That's nice. awesome. Yeah, no, you, you certainly didn't look bored. Anybody who was vicariously living through you on, mm -hmm. on Instagram or any of your social medias, it was nice. You looked like you were having a great time. And that was only the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> and completely understand when, when things didn't work out. So don't feel, don't worry. Yeah, about yeah. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would, I'd rather be on the beaches than hang with us also. So that's all right. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that matters. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, we'll find out what's going on with you and all that stuff. And what, uh, what brought you over to the, the island? Uh, Have you been dad, there before? That's like, we've been vacationing there since I was a child. He is okay. semi retired. So he lives there most of the year. So spending good daddy daughter time. So oh, I retired. He tired for him to give it up completely, huh? Well, he's my boss. So technically <laughs> I was like working or learning the business or being groomed to take over, whatever. He let me take the vacation time, so I will take it. <laughs> awesome. And the business, of course, is the family restaurants. Your, yes. your dad is Mr. Campisi, who owns a, I don't know, how many restaurants are in the in the business now? Um, we have nine in like Dallas-Fort Worth area. Okay. Corky. Um, nice. yeah, so like correct. Dallas and surrounding areas. Campisi. His name is Corky? That's his nickname. His real name is Carlo. Okay. Okay. Nobody, like two people that I can think of off the top of my head, call him that. And yeah, that's just one of, one of his employees couldn't pronounce his name or gave him that <laughs> name, or I can't remember like where it came from, but that's what everyone calls him. Okay. So if they say, is Carlo here? I know they're full of shit. <laughs> they're not looking for my dad. Like You, you said, know. no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely is not. How long, how long has he been in the restaurant business? Holy cow. Uh, our restaurant has been in the same location in Dallas, the original, um, since 1946. Wow. So awesome. he grew up doing it. I grew up doing it. It's like second nature, basically. Yeah. Did, looks delicious. Did he start in the kitchen? Was he the was he the chef when he first started or was he? Um, no, he did a little bit of everything. And sure. I learned really quickly, like, don't complain about certain things because you will get put in that area like i was like oh the silverware like they don't dry it guess what i had to do the next day dry all the silverware like <laughs> i do not want to stand next to the hot dishwasher when this like smoking steam heat thing opens and dry silverware like i learned yeah. to not complain about certain things I, I remember i had that job for one night myself and i never went back so <laughs> A friend of mine got me a job in a restaurant and I, that was my job. And I'm like, I'm not coming back tomorrow. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather be behind the bar tasting the wine and be like, this was awful. We should open a <laughs> bottle. <laughs> so I, I have to ask is, is the rumor true? Did, did Jack Ruby eat in your dad's restaurant the night before? He did. Yes, sir. Jack Ruby ate there the night before he shot Oswald. Wow. That's crazy. That's some history there. That's for sure. So, so I've heard the name over the years from just the stories of Jack Ruby. Um, not knowing it was in your restaurant. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. I've that's the. Oh, okay. Yeah, not knowing the connection, but yeah, oh yeah, they mention it. Yeah, uh, I think I've, we took a field trip when I was in high school to the JFK Museum, and I believe I don't know if it's still there, but there was like a thing about that said night. That right. He ate there before. Yeah. So wow. I like, I'm in a museum and we're on a field trip. <laughs> and so, yeah, yeah. Family stuff. Yeah. Well, when we years ago visited, we went through the bookatorium because <laughs> it was like turned into a museum. Is that the one you were at? Yeah. The, yeah it's with the sixth floor museum. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I was there. Um, how close to that is, is your restaurant? Um, we Well, the original is about like eight minutes away but um we have a downtown location that's blocks away okay i think i'd want to go to the original yeah right yeah, i've so saw pictures it. that's the only option <laughs> like, yeah. and you better call me and i will take you <laughs> I, I can't imagine the history i mean jack ruby's obviously not the only person that of, oh, of notoriety that ate at that restaurant i'm i'm sure no it's very cool it's like we have a bunch of like like wall of fame stuff with different actors and like politicians and athletes and just 
who's who's in Dallas that all have signed things and are regulars or um, yeah. Fans. So you're. <laughs> so, so I had fans before I had fans. Oh yeah, there you go, <laughs> there you go. So you're saying if we come to Dallas, we can get a reservation. A hundred and ten percent. Like okay. I will like probably wear you out. You'll be like, can I please leave this city? Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's possible. We uh. Well. Yeah, we we just went out with a with a comedian that we've had on our on our podcast before, and we were out till like four o'clock in the morning with that guy. So. Oh no no! I, I didn't say I would stay out all night. Oh okay okay. <laughs> I can send you on your merry way. <laughs> That's I already beauty. had to take a nap to be available for, at 7.30. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could have. Well, you never know, because uh, my daughter is in San Antonio going to school, so. Oh, in San Marcos? No, St. Mary's. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was cool. just down there a couple weeks ago, dropping her off, but I didn't have any extra time, but yeah, so. Come on to Dallas. It looks like fun. It definitely looks like fun. I mean, what would you... Oh, my God, Malin, like... <laughs> what's it called apocalyptic heat and now a flood <laughs> and i just arrived back home for all of this so it certainly was not me that brought all this badness upon the city but yeah i'm missing the islands right now. i bet i bet <laughs> yeah i can only imagine so are you uh fluent in the kitchen well that's what i that's my running joke i tell everyone that compliments our food it's delicious because I didn't cook it and I'm not in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't think the point of the restaurant is to hide you in the kitchen. I mean, I don't know. I'm more front of the house. Like I'm more like, yeah. let's have a glass of wine. Yeah. There's a lot of personality there. <laughs> She's making everyone feel welcome. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yes. It works very well. So we, uh, also the like just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right right so yeah. most of the time we start these things with your with your your playboy story how did you uh what is your tale for how'd you end up the how'd you end up miss february 2005 actually pertains to the restaurant so we're right on the mark um <laughs> i was graduating from college like smu southern methodist university which is like right across the street from our original restaurant <laughs> uh <laughs> Playboy was doing a search for the 50th anniversary Playmate. One of my regular customers, I was just in there working and she said, oh my God, Playboy's in town, you should try out. And I was like, what? Well, that sounds fun. She's like, you would meet so many people, you could travel, like imagine. And I was like, well, I'm almost done. I'll probably run the restaurant. So that'll be something fun to do in the meantime, sure. So um, we drank a bottle of wine. I went into her office and I called the little number that was in the newspaper that day and made an appointment. And then not even like 30 minutes later. And I've told this story, I think before, but I don't, yeah, I don't know how candid I got anyway, <laughs> about 30 minutes later, my dad calls me and he's like, playboys in town. Uh, and the columnist that ran it in the Dallas morning news was a friend of dad. So he oh. wanted to do it as a PR ploy. He's like you and your sisters we're going to try out and we're going to call you the Texas trio. And then we'll be in the newspaper and it'll like highlight the restaurant. Like he wanted to like pimp us out basically. Like, mm. I, I mean, like Chris Jenner, like he was like a, like a before Chris Jenner kind of guy. <laughs> He's a business thinker. And I was like, dad, I've already, no, I've already like called, I'm making my own appointment. And he was like, no, we're all doing it together. And I was like, <laughs> fine. So I went without them. Without my sisters, my two sisters, I went the okay. day before and tried out solo. And when I got there, they, the little lady that gave me my paperwork, she kind of looked at me once I filled it out. And I was like, I know, I know, I know. I'm supposed to be here tomorrow. And it's a whole PR thing. I get it. I know. I'll be back tomorrow. Act like you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, uh, okay. So I tried out and they were all lovely and nice. And they knew I was going to come back with my sisters. So they ended up, they wanted to eat at the restaurant because they'd heard about it. Like this is even before I was in the magazine. They like the restaurant was already famous. Sure. So they were dying to eat at your restaurant. And I was like, okay, well I'll set everything up. So they ended up the whole staff from Playboy that was in town came to the restaurant that evening. I was working. I got them a table. I tried to comp it and they were like, no, that would look very bad. Like you cannot pay for anything. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Right. Paying us off. And I was like, okay, got it. <laughs> So they had a lovely dinner. And then I was like, remember, I'll be back tomorrow. Act like you don't know me. <laughs> and I went back the following day with my sisters and my dad. And they acted like they didn't know me. Oh, <laughs> so I perfect. tried out twice. 
And then I got a call a few months later and they said, oh, we want to fly all of you girls out. And I go, well, just to be clear, I tried out a day early. It was like a whole thing. We're not like a package deal. My dad did that for like PR and the ladies are like, I'll be right back. Okay. We just want you. So I basically oh. did it for my sisters. Oops. <laughs> so over the years, do you bring that up to them every once in a while? Uh, as no. siblings do? We do not. I don't even know if they know that story. And she, my one, uh, I've lost a sister. So the other one, mm. she doesn't ever watch any of this stuff. So she won't know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> like, no, no, doesn't hurt them. So she'll be just fine. <laughs> okay. I get that. And but I, I know I, I would want to bring it up to you're right, rub it in my, a little bit. My siblings, yeah, if yeah. anything like that ever happened. But that's I know. She's good because she's kind of mean. I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, ever. Well, I would say have 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 some wine and then think about it. <laughs> but yeah, let's just never. I just Maybe gotta say about town. You can tell that story at the dinner at. Okay. The, I'll let you break that ice. <laughs> By the way, I just got to say, you don't retire to the, the Cayman Islands without business savvy like that, by the way. So it just makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you got called in. And how was that trip with your experience at the mansion? Holy cow. Um, it was super fun, actually. And I don't want to promote anyone's anything, but uh, Holly and Bridget just started a podcast. I listened to it this week. And it inspired me to relook at all my photos from those first days because yeah, it's, it's weird. It's surreal. Like you, it feels like a movie. Like it's still like, and now to think about like not being able to go there ever. Yeah. It's, it's just, yeah. Like it was part of normal life for a while and then now it's gone. And it's just a weird, weird feeling thinking about the whole thing now. Because before, yeah. like when half was alive, you could still go to the mansion. I could pop in and out and there's parties and you still see everyone. And now it's like, I mean, thank goodness for social media and stuff. Cause we all still exist. And we have like a little Facebook group where we're all like still, um, and then the NFT project we're doing, like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's great. Like we're all still, um, very bonded together, but that physical, like just sure. old school, like, yeah, that's gone. And it's weird. Do you have a, you have some favorite mansion memories? Oh, I had a favorite bedroom. I knew the secretaries to call so I could have said bedroom. (laughs) I broke probably every rule in the book that you were supposed to abide by. (laughs) That's hard to believe. (laughs) I don't, I I don't even remember which playmate this was, but she came home. What, like if we get to stay there for like a week or so, just like without like a, event or something like just for fun which I did a lot like I would say for like months like I milked it for all I could get but <laughs> why not I good mean, for you. yeah I was gonna say good for you yeah. yeah I mean I didn't move there permanently like a bunch of people did so I, I would love a little extended vacay so yeah. um yeah but I would always stay out late at night and you're supposed to technically return home and sleep on property and I would walk up shame it and that was before <laughs> Uber and so I remember there was a new playmate I can't remember who she was and she was brunette and she pulled up to the back gate the morning after she had been out all night with like a boyfriend she had at least she had a boyfriend like I don't know what my excuse was but she, <laughs> she said she pulled up to the back gate and security goes come on in Amber they thought she <laughs> immediately this delinquent playmate from the night before it must be amber <laughs> she's a brunette must be her you had a reputation I that preceded you we could stay out and they thought i was you and it was great and i was like good for you <laughs> so she thanked you at least she thanked uh, you forging yeah. the way for everyone <laughs> right right a new a new generation of troublemakers <laughs> <laughs> but how much fun did you have huh Oh, a thousand million pounds of fun. Yes. That's what, that's what being young's all about is having fun. And I was the oldest playmate my year. I was 23 oh. years old. Everyone was like 18, 19. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I was the oldest playmate in 05. My whole year out of everyone, I was the oldest. Wow. So going back to your dad and the publicity, <laughs> did he get the publicity that he wanted out of the whole shebang? I mean, this is another funny story. Uh, every playmate, when your issue um, hits the newsstands, you have to do a um, contractually, 
contractually. What? How do you say that? <laughs> contractually? Contractual. Sure. Well, yes. I'll struggle. Yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Maybe Cheetos and soda. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have to do a signing to promote like the sales of your magazine. Well, you usually do it at a bookstore where they sell the magazines. Dad was not having that. No, sorry. We're doing it at the restaurant. I will order the amount of magazines a bookstore would order and we will sell them. So I'm sure he probably marked them up. <laughs> we also sold food and alcohol. <laughs> so he was just winning before he started. <laughs> and I, I was like, no one is going to come. Like I live in Dallas. I've lived here my whole life. No one is going to come like buy a magazine. And like, I know everyone like, they'll like, text me and be like, send me one or like, there's no way. How long so, down the block was the line? <laughs> oh my God, two blocks long. Like, and I showed up late, like I took a nap and was like, oh, there's no one gonna be there. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, I can't even park my car. Like, They're gonna know what car I got out of. Like, it was like a rock concert. <laughs> oh my but, gosh. Like, they had a full band. Like it was the funnest, the um, Teresa Hennessy. And I only remember her last name because dad drinks Hennessy. That's because of her last name. Yeah. <laughs> was at, she worked for Playboy PR and she was from the Chicago office. She was sent to like organize everything. And she was like, this is the best signing ever. She stayed out all like she stayed out later than I did. Like I went home and she stayed out with my family and like partied all night long. <laughs> I got to say, like, I live band and like people were waiting in line to get autographs. And dad was selling beers like down the street, like going outside and taking cocktail orders. And, like, it's a whole thing. I love your dad. Right? I think I, I love your he's dad. A, he's a Kris Jenner, but like, what, where is our Kardashian money? Like <laughs> this house is not huge. I don't know if you can see, but it's not a Kardashian mansion. I do have like a little. You got a spiral for, staircase. That's yeah. That, yeah. That's you pretty know, fancy. Not to my days. I love it. I can't change it. But I would crazy. imagine. You Yeesh. must you must drink on the lower level most of the time because <laughs> those can be tough. A pile of shoes and <laughs> the amount of time I sleep on this couch. Yeah. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, those can be tough to navigate. Well, I would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> it is real. Yeah. Um, well, that, that is a great. I love that story of the signing. <laughs> um, and your dad lives close. You seem real he close. Does. He does. He lives about ten minutes away from me. Oh, nice. Okay. And he pops in the restaurant whenever he wants. And Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a care. He Like, he needs his own reality show. He's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> you think I'm entertaining. I, I get it from somewhere, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, would, I, I want to meet your dad. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Got to arrange that yeah, one, too. Oh, oh, wait. I remember when, um, okay, who was it? Crystal, when half, when he got left at the altar. Oh, mm -hmm. I, okay. I don't know that story. Yeah, no. Remember, like, he was going to marry Crystal, and she left him the altar, and, like, the whole wedding was canceled, and she stole her car and all this shit. Okay. Like, you don't yeah. I don't, re I don't remember it, no. And then they got married on New Year's Eve, and she came back, and, like, what? anyway. I do, Yep, now that you say it, now I do. Because they ended somewhere, up getting married, though. Yes. Yeah, no, they did. So somewhere in the interim of that, when she ran away brides and screws them over and then decides to come back, my, I went to the mansion and it was like fun in the sun. We're out by the pool and Crystal hadn't come back yet. So they hadn't been married yet. She'd already run away and I don't think returned. And my dad, I remember I gave, and I've never like, I've spoken on the phone to half like twice, like randomly, like he usually has secretaries. Like, so it's a big thing when you talk on the phone with him. Yeah. My dad was on the phone with me and he was like, let me tell half about marriage. And I was like, hold on. <laughs> So I'm like, half my dad wants to tell you something. <laughs> and that's just so awkward. But like, I mean, he doesn't care. So I hand him the phone and my dad's life <laughs> advice is um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> marriage is overrated and pussy's undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> so he tells half that and he just like cackles his cute little laugh and he goes, well, you're a wise man. <laughs> Your dad's a wise man. And he hands me the phone back, and I was like, "Okay, goodbye, dad." Now I'm like, "You embarrassed me somehow." <laughs> but also gave Hugh Hefner advice about marriage and pussy. Like, right? um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm embarrassed or impressed, or like, it's just all awkward. <laughs> do you uh? Do you think your dad would do the podcast? 
Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, he wouldn't even know what a podcast is. If I told him, he would be like, what a pod who? I don't know what that is. But Can we yeah. just spend it just spend an yeah. hour with him giving us advice on certain subjects? Oh, everything. <laughs> yeah, I think would he be oh, like no. he has, sitting there like, is there somebody over there? <laughs> is there someone behind this there. camera? Like, we should. He <laughs> He, my, my good friend that's actually across the table. That's why I keep looking. Uh, she's across the table from me. She's like, your dad needs a reality show. Like the shit that comes out of his mouth and like just his mumbling and like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like a little curmudgeon, but like full of fire and like knowledge and like weird Heck. rules and shit. Like, <laughs> it's his own life, his own world. <laughs> I would just want to hear advice from him. Right, right. I mean, uh, did he, well, did I mean, he, he ever make it to the like, mansion? He he did go to the mansion. Yes. Um, oh, how was he, that? Yeah, he said, yes, he did. Um, and I had to tell him he's very good friends with Eric Dickerson because Eric oh. played for SMU. Yeah. So he was visiting Eric and playing golf and they were saying Calabasas. And this was like early playboy days. We were out with half at a club. And I said, you and Eric come meet like that sounds legit. Like you're with a celebrity. Come meet up. This is like when I really didn't know protocol for like how do you invite your parents or like interact with other people? So I was like, Oh, that'll be cool. He has a celebrity friend. Like it was still like Hef's rules. We were behind her velvet rope with security roped off and dad came over. I said, that's my dad half. Like he's with Eric. Like he knew Eric said, hello. They took photos, but the velvet rope never moved. <laughs> I was not allowed. Like I like took photos behind the rope. Like it's an awkward photo with, dad in front of the rope us behind the rope and then um i asked security i was like i'm gonna go talk to my dad for a little bit and they were like you can't for very long like you have yeah. to come back to the group like it was a very and i was like no but that's like my and dad wasn't allowed to sit with us like mm. even though he was with a celebrity like it wow was very um that was interesting yeah okay yeah well, i would imagine he's he gets that all the time or something and he just made the rule and stuck with it so right you break the rule for one person, you got to break it for everybody. So <laughs> to me, the more the merrier, but anyway, <laughs> right. Well, if I'm with you up, on that, I'll get up. Well, I'll get up. <laughs> It'll be anarchy. <laughs> um. So what was the living at the mansion? The schedule? It is it. He's he seems pretty regimented and scheduled and things. It is. Um, it which me a lot conflicted of about you. <laughs> um. No, it was fun. I, I love I enjoyed meeting all of his older friends are uh, such characters and they have so many great stories. And like, you don't even know who you're talking to. All of a sudden you're like, okay, Ray Anthony, one of his good friends that's still alive. He's, I believe 101. Wow. Now, or maybe 91. <laughs> that's, a <big> <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of a difference. <laughs> well, at that age. No, but... I think he's about a hundred. Anyway, Ray Anthony, he dated, We you can Google him. He was a big band. Like he played a, trumpet maybe oh god he's gonna kill me if i don't know but <laughs> he dated marilyn monroe and he was oh. and he played tennis he, i think he still does play tennis i hope so god bless him yeah <laughs> but he was a character that like had a million stories that you wouldn't even know and then he was like oh yeah when i dated marilyn monroe and you're like wait what <laughs> wow <laughs> just eating popcorn at a movie with this person that was part of history like it was very cool i loved meeting all of his like older friends that you never knew like i i i guess that's like way older than my life would know so yeah, right. yeah. Like, okay like that's before the internet like that kind of era so you don't know it's like a fun little surprise and they're normal people until they bust out a story like that and you're like wait what <laughs> Yeah, normal normal people don't marry don't date Marilyn Monroe. No, but how fun! Yeah, yeah right. And right. unfortunately, you know, those stories are going to pass because unless he wrote a book about it or something, those stories are going to pass. So sad. Yeah, yeah. Tell him he should write a book <laughs> quickly. <laughs> like, yeah, because <laughs> Casey's one hundred and one. <laughs> Short story. <laughs> <laughs> My friend loved that joke. She's laughing across the table. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, all right. She also uh, just refreshed my drink. So cheers. Oh, well. <laughs> Tito, that's... which Tito's, we, we, I like don't promote anything, but Tito's is from Dallas. Yeah, local, right? Yep. Yes. Or, uh, well, whatever. Texas, same thing. Close enough. Well, awesome. we were 
every time I go to drop my daughter off at school, I want to go visit Tito's and we just don't have time. It just hasn't worked out, but she well, has been. So she has four campeses. You're in big trouble, miss. Oh, no. <laughs> not anymore. I will not. Will not. Book the trip. Let's go. We'll have Tito's at Campeses. You're not. All right. Perfect. All right. Yeah. We're not all about a promoting, but if they ever want to promote us, you know. <laughs> yeah. Tito's refreshing. <laughs> I know. See, they might hear us. Who knows? And oh. he's been on our boat in Grand Cayman. So. Oh, Tito. Oh. No, yes. Tito. No, Ray. Wait, no, oh, what? Tito. Well, I don't know. Who, yeah. Tito Beverly. Yeah. Whoever, I don't know what's dad's friend, not my, again, dad's more exciting than me. Don't you want dad on the podcast? He's the one that knows all these people. <laughs> uh, I adopted well, a cat and named it Tito and came in. So, but dad, I think actually hang with, hung knows, with real Tito on the bed. Knows Mr. Tito. Well, I believe that's his name for real. Yeah. Well, he makes good vodka. He, he does. Whatever his name is, he makes good vodka. We drink it all the time. Yeah, that's that's definitely the go-to on this podcast. Your first time with mineral water. <laughs> it is. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I really like it. So I bought four bottles of this. Uh, um Topo Chico. Yeah. I should, yeah, I'd say right. this. Like everybody knows what this, this. is. <laughs> I know. I was like, is that where are you guys? I was like, is that even a thing where they are? Like we're we're in Wisconsin. Yeah. So is Topo Chico a thing there? Like not. That's like I, I found it at the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. It's they have a, like, like from Mexico, but Coca-Cola products. Okay. It's a, it's apparently a Coca-Cola owned company from uh, anyway. We got a side note. <laughs> we, we got it. I lesson. didn't say that in Wisconsin. I like this. This is like having a producer. I've never. That's one. Is that a state? Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, do you know the Green Bay Packers? I do. They're in our state. They're green and yellow. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. They're not far from us. They're about at weirdly one state. I don't think I've ever been to. Okay. Well, come on up. Yeah, absolutely. If you think the weather changed you yeah, there, we got cold. We got, we got everything. We got everything here. I don't do cold. <laughs> you better come in August then. <laughs> <laughs> but we have good times. Um, the, nice, so, the nice thing about cold weather is you have to drink a lot to stay warm. So mm. it, uh, the winters get, you know, <laughs> you get it. I, I could do that. Um, so you would, said you haven't been to Wisconsin, but uh, you obviously with during your, through the playmate did a lot of traveling so did. did you go to did you go and to different countries and what was your favorite was, country because i was an old lady 23 years old <laughs> everyone was like a lot of the playmates my year were under 18 so they weren't allowed to work any kind of um casino event liquor sponsored event like all the golf tournaments were sponsored by liquor sponsors they yeah. weren't allowed to work sure. so i got lots of work <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of the playmates that they were like your family has money that's bullshit like why are you getting all these jobs and i was like well, i don't i can't help it that i'm old <laughs> sorry <laughs> but i did um yes i did get to travel uh, um as far as different countries we went to canada a couple times um they went through our suitcase and we had a bunch of like cards that you signed or we got in trouble. I, I mean, I did not, whoever was with me in charge of shit did. <laughs> oh, really? Apparently, because we were like working, we're selling things. Like, mm -hmm. I guess. So then that I don't know how that worked, but they went through suitcases and found like a bunch of merch that we were supposed to be signing. And um, I don't know, we got held up in customs for a short while. I was just at the bar. <laughs> I don't really recall. <laughs> take take your time. Figure it I out. Canada without a hitch. And I liked Canada. Oh my God. You know why I liked Canada? Oh, why? Ready? Are you ready? I don't think you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready. You All know right. that in Canada, we went to Edmonton and strip clubs there. Mm. I love it. Okay, I like this story. Let me back up. I love a good strip club. Anytime I travel, I'm a traveler. I love a strip club in a foreign country. Like, I just want to see what life's about. All right. Strip and we're, what a better place but than a strip in club? Edmonton, when you go to Edmonton, they have um, 
their currency is loonies and toonies <laughs> and their little coins. That's like, that's what they nickname them. But like, I, they, I'm sure they have an official name. <laughs> loonies and toonies. So you're at the strip club and you throw no coins at a stripper. Like, a, like a, it's like the county fair. Like they have like a little, like a bin that you can like try to nail it in there. They would lick a picture and stick it on their arm or chest. And you could like, <laughs> try it. it was like the state fair. It was so oh. fun. Instead of making it rain, you made it hail. <laughs> Apparently, yes. <laughs> My friend is loving your humor, by the way. I <laughs> stole that joke from somebody. I don't know where I heard that, but I have heard that before. <laughs> But I, yes, I was like, oh, my God, this is so fun. But I also feel weird. Like, we're, like, pelting these women. <laughs> Why different. Not? Yeah, it's different. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, and then to... there's then there's the cleanup guy. That's the best part. He goes <laughs> a giant. Like, he looks like, in my, my in my Catholic mind, it looks like some incense, like, thing that's, like, trying to spray good vibes on you. But it's a magnet that sucks up all the coins. <laughs> <laughs> and he just dusts the stage, like waves it around. It sucks everything up, but it also looks like those Catholic incense, like. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't know. Somehow I got Catholic guilt out of tequila shots and strippers and. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think that's there. Catholics are supposed to be feel guilty in a strip joint every, every time we're there. Mm, glad I'm glad I'm not Catholic. I guess <laughs> it, it hasn't worked yet, but I'm supposed to. <laughs> Not, not happening. So in oh. doubt. So, do you have a favorite strip club around your area? My own house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, best I, answer I, to a question ever. It is best <laughs> answer ever. Oh, see, I know. I'm gonna go get a bag of loonies <laughs> and a bag of toonies, and I'll be right over. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll train the cat in the meantime to pick up all the coins. <laughs> I'll get him a collar that's like magnetic. There you just, go. You can just like... His head will oh, be stuck on the floor. I love this. <laughs> well, I know we, we enjoy, I guess in our state, we have some classier strip joints and we tend we, to like the... We do? They're there. We don't go to them <laughs> often. We like the CD strip joints. Yeah. Oh. In well, you gotta experience it, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. We, yeah, we've they we've, let their hair down a little more. <laughs> we've seen some things. From, like was, what? From girls Don't with make me talk the whole time. Let well, me hear a story. <laughs> well, believe me, first of all, nobody wants to hear us yeah. talk. Um, that's pretty proven by the episodes where there's no guest. <laughs> so believe me, the playmates do a lot better than we do, anyway. Uh, I do remember the girl who kept her flannel and her socks on the whole time she was dancing. So that was interesting. At a strip club or on your podcast? What? At a strip club. A strip club. Yeah. We had the stripper that came out with roller blade, roller skates on. We yeah, I've seen up. That's happened. That is just boss bitch left. Right. I, I mean. And it was a small stage. Yeah. Smaller than a lot of them. She just, oh, yeah, the oh, yeah, stage. she just whipped her on in skates. Yeah. No, no, yeah. No. We, we not a thing we got our, we got our <laughs> ass kicked die. recently by a stripper basically i mean she was pretty aggressive and <laughs> nearly injured us I, so. have been, I have been beat up by yeah and bit hmm. that's a different story <laughs> we're a little aggressive here in wisconsin i guess <laughs> well what am i missing i should come to wisconsin and Heck yeah Heck yeah <laughs> I, I, rub, I rubbed a girl's dented head one time does it <laughs> Did you say her dented head? Yeah, she had a dented like, head. Dented. I, like, I don't know. I don't know how it got dented. dented. Head? What's that? Did she yeah. arrive with a dented head or did you? She did. <laughs> she did. And she or, or was it dented after you got done with her? No, I, condition? I didn't dent it. <laughs> I just rubbed the dent. She was very proud of it. And she What left. is in those Tito's? Oh my god. <laughs> it's this damn mineral water. <laughs> <laughs> it must be the Tobo Chico. Let's play. We will. We All right, will. Anyway, back on track. <laughs> well, yes, yes. So, did you make it a point? Yeah, Dallas. When you traveled, you made it sound like you you like to seek out strip joints in different cities. I love it. Different countries, different cities. Yes. Oh. Still do. At my yes. old age. Really. 
you get a lot of attention out of it's like a whole culture like it's a lifestyle and i don't know i like people like to be history buffs and go to fucking churches cool <laughs> That's my vibe. I like to go to a strip club in a foreign country or a different city and see what's up. The nice thing is you get everything in a strip club. I mean, oh, yeah. you get like some old married dude that has a bad marriage. You get like a bachelor party. Like It's a mix of people. Yeah. So where is the craziest strip joint you've ever been? Uh, Nicaragua. Oh, damn. I was there. <laughs> Oh, but and I, was, I, I went back. I went back three times. <laughs> just for the strip joint. It's called Good Time. Okay, hold on, hold on. Not good time. Good. Just good time, like one time. Good time. <laughs> you broke the rule. You're only supposed to go once. <laughs> I know. And it's like, again, oh God, what is wrong with my like Catholicism <laughs> filling into my life? I went to the last, the most recent time I was at said strip club in Nicaragua was with um, a bunch of friends of mine that I went to Catholic school with and they <laughs> a trip or they bought a trip at an auction at the Catholic school to go to Nicaragua. And I was like, <laughs> our final night, we have to stay in the main town, which is uh, like, it's not a beach town. It's just like a city. Um, so I was like, I know where we're going. And I went to the front desk and I was like, excuse me, we want to go to good time. And the lady's like, no, ma'am, you do not. And I was like, I know I do. <laughs> like, and I Googled it and I showed her and she goes, oh, no, that's mucho señoritas. And I was like, see, sí, yes. Want to go there. <laughs> and then the we got in the car and the driver's like, we're not going there. And I was like, no, we're going there because I'd only gone with local people. So the driver didn't want to take us there. And I was like, I'm sorry, sir. He took us to a different strip club. And I was like, no, this is not what we want. We want to go to good time. <laughs> so after three rounds of arguing, I finally got to good time. What, I mean, what is I, happening at good time that nobody I wants you to go there? Lost our good friend, it was his birthday. We lost him for a few hours. I didn't ask what happened. <laughs> good but time. We had a good time. <laughs> What's, what happens at good time stays at good time. I think so. And you get a wristband, so then you wake up in the morning going to the airport like, oh God, what did I do? <laughs> Damn, right. missed opportunity for me. Book but the trip. Amber's fault. That's fine. I'll take it. Book the trip. But I was I was with my maybe dad, I, so maybe. I don't know if he would have went. Maybe but. a couple day layover will be in Dallas, and then we'll oh. hit Nicaragua from there. Yeah, sure. We're, <laughs> we're always looking at good business trips. and Right. Right. <laughs> that sounds like as good as any. <laughs> Write it all off. <laughs> um, besides trip joints, is there anywhere else you like to visit? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, let me think. Bars, yachts, beds. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, that one caught me off guard. <laughs> I, I was like, well, how are you how are you reading my mind? <laughs> it's a talent. <laughs> well, I know when every time we travel, we always like to look and we like to go to local taverns we like to go to the, yeah. the seedy places in town um i love talking bars. to locals i like strip clubs people like dive bars or like foodies like right michelin star shit that's not <laughs> what i like i like to to, to learn weird shit <laughs> <sighs> uh, i like it I i'm like too. it so too. when are we gonna book our first trip because we need uh, to travel <laughs> I don't know what strip club is in Wisconsin because I might need to get online and start looking. Oh, <laughs> landing strip. <laughs> That's a legitimate name of a strip joint I, close I, to I us. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan. It's near an airport, so it makes sense. I think that's the only. <laughs> Wait, they have one in Austin, I think. Okay. Well, oh, you know, it must again, be a franchise. Why do I and know I... so much about strip clubs? I don't know. <laughs> it must be a franchise. <laughs> Well, it's, it's like Twin Peaks or like Hooters or whatever they call it. Or so, like Dimples in the Beard. Y'all are going to be everywhere. Like y'all are just going to be like Hooters. Heck yeah. I was at a Twin Peaks after when I dropped my daughter off last year and I drove back by myself. I stopped at I mean, a Twin your Peaks. Daughter better hurry up and graduate. She's costing you some money. That's already twice I've heard you drop her off. Yeah, I drive her down each year. She's a sophomore. So I got a couple more years. Oh, shit. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, but I but the I last gonna grow up to be like me. My dad goes, "What did you do with your degree that I paid for?" And I was like, <laughs> yeah. 
a drunken podcast at 7 30 <laughs> on a Thursday. Well, wait, what was your major? So, communications. Communications and oh, public perfect. affairs. I nailed public affairs. <laughs> there you go. And we're communicating. Yeah, but you're not corporate, but we can all act corporate. Oh, we're, we're, no, we're an LLC. We're corporate. Oh, oh perfect. See? Yeah, we're yeah. corporate enough. Done. Yeah. Money well spent. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially for <laughs> Thursday night with us. <laughs> Are you, uh, I love speaking, it. speaking of us being everywhere and all, all the places now, you know, um, the rogue bunnies have helped us, have helped us with that. Are no, you, I uh, love that you got like, this makes me so, it was so happy to come on because You've already had like all of my girls. Like those are like, it's like a sorority. And yeah. I hate sorority because oh. that's some bitchy shit. But <laughs> I don't the know. These are like like sisters that like, it's a weird, like you would think it's competitive. Like people ask me like all the time, like, oh my God, you met all the other girls. Is it competitive? Are they rude? Are they bitchy? And I'm like, yeah, there's of course a couple of bitches in the group. But sure, sure. For the most part, everyone is so fucking nice and so lovely and like caring. And we've gone to like baby showers and birthdays and weddings and like been each other's lives for years. Yeah. And it's super cool. Like I just, yeah. yeah we, we love it. Yeah. We hear the same, I mean, we, we love the yours. story from, yeah, the same story from everybody about how yeah, everyone wants to encourage everyone. Like it's like such a um, female empowerment, like, before that was like a fucking term and shit like sure right it seems it like you're very encouraging fun. of each other that's for sure that, it's a competitive world you would think that and now you see like secrets of playboy and all those like whatever's and this was just not my experience like it was everyone just building everyone up and supportive and sweet and checking in and, hey hi like not fake not forced not like yeah you could reach out months from now to somebody that you still have in your phone but haven't talked to they would write back in a second and you would start life like no yeah tomorrow. that's yeah. yeah those are those are the best kind of friends the friends that you can go a year or so without talking to and pick up just like you were just like it was yesterday yeah, for sure for sure yeah and most people would think that that world is competitive and not like not even yeah <laughs> not no even. and and when we started this we we kind of thought the same thing that we're going to get, get some playmates on and they're going to have some we're catty, some catty bitches. And we're going to right. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, but, know. I but wanted it, some hair pulling stories we and all something. we're getting <laughs> some mud rolling fights or something. And no, I'm like, tell me who else was on here. Who could I like even have a story about? <laughs> well, and we'll tell you that in a second, but, it, um, but over time, it, none of that's come out and it's, it, these stories are just as great. I mean, I'd rather hear, the, hear these stories oh, yeah. that we're talking about yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, but I probably have a story about somebody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Victoria Fuller, we had on twice, twice. Victoria, now Victoria was a little bit, she was before me. Okay. So she was yeah. already a mansion. She was married. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. So, That's um, right. I love her. I mean, a big proponent of what she's doing for all of us. Like that mm -hmm. was another, like, just reach out. Like we hadn't spoken in like years. Yeah. And it was a simple phone call. Like she just called me out of the blue and I was like, Hey, oh my gosh, like good to hear from you. What's going on. And she told me about the project and I was like a hundred percent on board. Yes. This is amazing. You're a rock star. I love this. Like, mm -hmm. again, we have like a little Facebook group where like some of the mansion staff, we all like still vibe and talk and keep up. So yeah, I was like, tell me what to do. Like, whatever, yeah. like, I'll send you my lip print and my signature and all the photos from like back in the day. Like, yes, this is so fun. Like, so what was your, uh, what was your level of NFT knowledge when she called the first time? Zero. Like, I, I <laughs> if you saw my notes, I looked like a crackhead probably. She called <laughs> and it was like, it was her and Ava Fabian. Yeah, sure. And so I had like a little notepad and I was writing shit down. I was like, I don't know what the fuck. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wrote everything down. Like, they kept, but they, they explain it so passionately. Mm -hmm. And like enough to where... I whatever I wrote down was enough for me to like grasp a little bit of what was going on. Yeah. But it's also like back in the day, and I don't know, like 
when you would post for Playboy, you would just sign away, like whatever your rights are gone. Like yeah, whatever right. photos you take, they're gone. So this is a lot more liberated and um, fluid and mm. yeah. Good, it just, yeah. Good point that these are yours. These yeah. are now finally yours. That's yeah, a great it's, point. It's yours and not like a company, like we're, we're doing this together, but like for each other. Mm-hmm. And is is your trading card was your trading card part of series one or are you are you because I was in the islands so I didn't have access to my old ass fucking you're gonna laugh Dell computer <laughs> eight pounds that's in the back <laughs> of the and I had to pull up the photos on a don't laugh CD ROM <laughs> to, oh. to send them to Victoria. I was like, yeah. Victoria, I found a CD ROM. Yes, I just typed that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> here's my photos, and she goes, "They're gorgeous." I was like, "I don't know what the co- like, what the like, if they're like enough resolution or whatever." But I was like, "I don't know." Like, I would have to go in my storage unit and find like that's like back in the day you didn't have like you don't have like Instagram like I don't have photos like that like they're all on like that kind of device or right, like, yeah, yeah. hard drive like. So that was interesting to do the NFT project and have to give her um, content. And I was like, what? (laughs) (laughs) They're like, no, 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 no. We want like your, like when you were young, like we don't want like you now. And I was like, we're telling me now, but okay, but sure. Let me go looking. (laughs) Basically dumpster diving into CD-ROMs. So. (laughs) Sounds like it's working out though. Mm -hmm. Um, Go ahead. No. Do you, do you know, are you part of series two then? I do not know yet. Okay. All right. Okay. Even if you did, you probably couldn't tell us because series two is probably still under wraps. <laughs> I mean, I honestly really don't know. <laughs> but you, you got, you got pretty lucky already. You got a legendary card, right? Oh my God. Okay. So I didn't know what that was. Like I just bought it and was like, okay, I need to support the group. Like, cool. Yeah. For a while, like when I tried to come on the original podcast and I was in Cayman, it, I don't know, it's culture shock moving like whatever um so i was very dialed in for a while because it was beach days and i could fit it in now i'm home and i'm like i don't know so i lost track of everything and um yeah i didn't buy anything so i was like okay let me just fucking buy some shit real quick and then i got two out of three there's only three and i got two that's like wow. good. You got two legendary cards? No, no, no. But it was oh. number two out of three. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I see. What you're that's saying. like really. There's only three, and I got two. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Either the two of you have them, or nobody else. <laughs> well, I don't have. I didn't get any legendary. So. But yeah, like I didn't even know, and then I was, <laughs> I, I didn't even want to participate because it felt like I was like they think that it's like rigged. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's my buying. Italian mafia style is like, oh my god, they think it's rigged. Like, this <laughs> watch it, and like, she's already winning. <laughs> so I did not participate in the late latest AMA because I was like, oh god, they're gonna talk about my rare card. I was gonna say, I think there might be something going on tonight, isn't there? There might be a. Oh, it oh. is. It's happening right. It's, yeah, I think it's, it's right now. My time, so it already happened. Uh, oh, okay. Oops. All my notifications. We all missed it. <laughs> <laughs> missed it. Uh, oops. But well, that's tra- fun too. You know, when they have those launches. And- yeah, we yeah, try to get into as many as we fun. can. And it's like even fun. Um, oh, hold on. All right, incoming. Hey, twin. <laughs> Has this? Per- no, this is my friend Lindsay Vulo. She was a playmate. She was okay. okay. So she got a message. I- I'm like reading this in real time. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> probably heck not yeah. i'm just yeah. heck yeah I, I will read it in real time like this is dead serious reading in real time <laughs> she just sent this to me hey and I, again another person that i haven't spoken to in the last time we texted was april 13th what month are we oh wow. perfect so hey um i'm a documentary researcher working with intellectual property corporation a well, i'm gonna show, probably should not read all this but <laughs> <laughs> Blah, 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 these people that own shit and do shit. Um, We are doing early research for new episodes, and I came across your name in my research. Do you have a moment to chat about your experiences with Playboy? It would be a conversation about your memories and personal perspective. 
There you go. Suze is the person. Okay. Well, there you go. Shall we call Suze on this podcast right now? (laughs) That would be great. (laughs) I'm doing it. (laughs) Hey, Suze. What's up? Bam. I make shit happen. (laughs) I love it. Hello. Suze? Yes. Hi. Uh, my name's Amber Campisi. I just got um, forwarded a message from Lindsay Vulo about you wanting to do a Playboy documentary. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Tell me your name one more time. Amber Campisi. Um, yeah. So I am working on season two of Secrets of Playboy for A&E. And I don't know if you saw um, season one. Oh, I wouldn't. Um, I heard the train wreck it was, but yes. <laughs> um, and yeah, people had very, very split opinions about it. Um, and for season two, we are, we want to have a wider conversation, like wider topics. It's not going to be such a narrow focus. And I'm just really trying to reach out to people and hear stories and experiences. Um, no agenda, just like, you know, positive, negative, something in between, just hearing stories. And then we're going to sort of put the season together according to, you know, the people who want to tell all their stories, basically. Um, very journalistic, traditional documentary, not looking for anything specific. So that's kind of kind of what we're doing. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely want to get the narrative right because you guys spun the first episode, the first season, like just, I don't, I think it was spun. So I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. And, um, like I said, anything you would have to say is a value. Oh no, I, 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 a bunch of people you interviewed the first time. I am good friends with. It's just the narrative oh, that God. you guys spun that doesn't sit well. So I guess y'all are trying to correct that. Um. Well, I wasn't on season one, and they have a new uh, show and our executive producer for season two. Okay. Well, so that would be all I, taken into consideration on my end for sure. Yeah. Like I can't. I saw season one, but I can't speak for behind the scenes machinations or decision making Um, but I can tell you that the executive that's why they hired you to make the calls yes (laughs) (laughs) ma'am like for me I'll just tell you personally the reason I wanted to do it is because it puts women's voices front and center and I like that I think that's cool Um, so I personally am not looking for any sort of uh, flavor of story. I just want true experiences and to lift up women and put women at the center of this conversation. So that's, that's if I have an agenda. Um, okay. Can, can you send me some more information? Of course. What's a good email for you? She um, goes, well, I wasn't part of that. Well, of course, that's why they made you call me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just want female empowerment. I'm sure you do. Did you just move to LA and you're 19? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Um, <sighs> where were we? <laughs> I don't know. But how was that? Oh, I was like, what did I buy insurance for? Our hotel. <laughs> I need insurance for a hotel, apparently. Well, y'all can't take me in. You trash it. Yeah. You'd... <laughs> so... For $10, I can now. <laughs> anyway, back to the daily. Well, back to, I mean, this is a great segue, I think. That's because... I cannot believe that. Just like that's, Lindsay Vulo is my favorite playmate of all time. Like we became best, best friends. Like we okay. were the same size shoe, same size clothes, like everything, everything, everything. We were, we shared a lot um, nice. during our playmate years. And okay. I haven't heard from her since obviously April 13th. And then she sends me this documentary, people shit. Well, it'd be interesting to call like, her and see if she's she, in or what. She, she just asked me, has this person reached out to you? Oh. Uh. And they hadn't yet, so I got the jump on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'll tell her what to do. I don't know. 
all if you want to if you want to call her and talk about it live that's fine go right ahead <laughs> no that's like so special i like i could not just pull like i would have to hang up and be like we're done <laughs> all right that's fine we, that, we try that's all right technically i have to edit out the part with you on the phone anyway because i think we would have to tell them that they're being recorded yeah otherwise it's i could we could but get you, you, it no. depends on the state yeah it does depend on the state i don't know my laws well, to tell it, we don't even know who this person is. She didn't I'm not going to sue you. <laughs> I'm not worried about you. <laughs> She's never going to hear it. She's not. She's not. We don't know who that was. Um, it was Suze. Suze. Suze, do we have permission? If you Suze. do, say nothing. We're good. All right. Perfect. I have so, her number if needed. <laughs> okay. I'll call and ask for permission. <laughs> so now season one, though. She's in Los did Angeles. You, did you watch season one at all? I unfortunately did i wanted to act like i didn't because i didn't uh, give my energy to the project but yes i did okay yeah. and we didn't but so and you as you mentioned you're, you're friends with with them still today or I, 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 I mean the main thing was holly correct? yeah i was in holly's wedding um oh. or no i wasn't i'm sorry i was in kendra's wedding i was at holly's wedding whatever same same neither of them were married anymore so it doesn't really yeah. matter <laughs> right <laughs> but i showed well, you, up to all that <laughs> yeah and you're in all their seasons or um, all their shows and all that yeah i don't um i don't know i don't want to speak on somebody else's experience because sure. that's not my place but a lot of things she says don't resonate with what i think i witnessed yeah, and that's all you Maybe can. I'm delusional, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and but that's I all you can talk about is what you experienced. Alleged she was a, drinking a lot. Yeah, I'm just shaking my head. I, I just might have a tick. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair anyway, enough. Uh, yes. No. Moving on from that. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did not want to give energy to that project because I just felt like it was just. Um, a narrative that was spun in the favor of the people talking. Absolutely. Well, yeah, and absolutely. as you were kind of saying, spun one way. Right. It really was. No. That, yeah, that was the biggest problem. Like they found the most hateful, like bitter people, yeah. which. And they weren't bitter people to begin with. So that also just begs the question, did they like. Poison like those people, like, did they like just push that so hard, like mm -hmm. interviewing them? I don't know. Yeah. Well, if you because ask the question, I don't see it as like such a, I don't know, the interviewee people like, yeah. let's meet those motherfuckers because I feel mm -hmm. like they should have a Taliban in front of them. <laughs> right. That's the thing. I mean, if I you ask, it, okay. seems, it seems so far fetched from the reality that I experienced and sure. a bunch of us did that. It, it seemed to that at the time that they, you know, it came out last year and then it was probably filmed and interviewed a year before that, which was really at the height of the movement of the. Sure. sure. So everything. So I think it fit at the time that they wanted to push the narrative of uh, what was happening in the country. So yeah. who do you attack? It fit. You know, yeah, Playboy. And uh, we've heard nothing but awesome stories and positive, positive things about half the hashtag me too shit. No, half was never like that is not like not once was that a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And believe so, me, that's, that's what we hear over and over again. It's so. just so bizarre. I've never, I actually was disappointed. We can record this. <laughs> like it's on. <laughs> I was very disappointed in the level of drugs and partying at the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> 23 so i was old enough to know what good drugs are and shit disappointing <laughs> get there like i promise you <laughs> and it was very shunned upon if you did so yeah <laughs> hence my walk of shame that's, it, yeah. that's, that's why you're walking home at 7 a.m every day <laughs> that's it i gotta go somewhere else to get the good stuff All right right yeah i mean for real it was not it was not a thing it was not. So we do, we do like to hear uh, anybody uh, all the all the playmates like favorite half memory if you have one. Uh, my favorite half memory would be I have two. Can I have two? Perfect. You can Absolutely. have two. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can, at this point you can have anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, my favorite F memory, number one, was I got, it was my first time being there to test for Playmate. And Holly was like, oh my God, meet half, blah, blah, blah. We went out for the evening as a group. We came back to the mansion and it was a one-off. Like the whole staff was like blown, mind blown. He wanted to go to the grotto and like actually have cocktails in the grotto. That's not a thing. Like everyone like thinks that happens all the time. Like the grotto is like their famous thing and all the mm -hmm. parties. And that's usually like us like laying there like, oh my God, my neck hurts from this miserable pose we did at the studio today. Like it's not sexy. Like you're actually using like the, the jets and like chilling in the massage area. Yeah. He wanted to go out and party and drink champagne. And it was my first time there. And they like the staff was like, Hef hasn't done this in like five years. Like wow. he doesn't ever go out there. Like no way. And there were like eight, eight of us or nine. I, I have photos, which I'm <laughs> supposed to not share. But <laughs> they're somewhere in a book. <laughs> And it was super cool. And he just had fun. He was just pouring champagne and we were all drinking. And like, it felt like the Playboy Mansion. Like, and it Legit. was my first, like, first week there, which was super cool. I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck yes. Like, <laughs> but again, nothing creepy, nothing weird. Like, we're just all drinking champagne and like taking, well, I mean, I guess it is creepy if there's a photographer. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not selfies at this point. This is 03. <laughs> So it's a photographer like <laughs> let me get a legit photographer just well Elaine you're half when you're half you have, Elaine, you have that best. Elaine she was a beautiful woman she's great Elaine all my photos Elaine yeah Amazing. um nice yeah so that was one and then two would have been the first time he left a voicemail on my mm -hmm. phone yeah that's jarring that's shocking that's not normal like he usually right. has secretaries so yeah, I, I, had, I had been in LA and was staying with friends and was like, I want to come for fun in the sun or dinner. Or I want to see you. Like, I want to come by and you have to ask. So you yeah. can't like show, I mean, I guess maybe you could show up. I, don't know, I probably could, but <laughs> hey, nice <and> cold. <laughs> I'm a nice Italian girl. I'm like, I'm going to call. So I called and the secretary was like, I'll put a note for Hef. And it was like a Sunday when I called. And I guess he left a voicemail on Sunday night and he was like, Hi, he, he, what did he say? Um, Hefner here, Hefner here. Mm. You're you're welcome to come up. I got your message. See you tomorrow. And it was nice. so, it was like a voicemail. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's super cool. Like, cause but, I don't, he has secretaries and shit. Like he doesn't like, obviously they gave him a little note and perfect. But he made it a point to talk to you. That That is cool. Yeah, he was a very classy man, which I love. Um, were you were you kicking yourself a little bit that you didn't answer it, or are you glad that you had the voicemail? No, I I I, I sent it to voicemail. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I I wish I still had it on yeah. voicemail. I was just I gonna ask that. Yeah, I kicked myself and was like, I could have talked to him on the phone, but what would I have said? <laughs> Even like fan girling, like I've seen him a thousand million times, but still, like to have him on a phone, I might yeah. have been like. Oh my God, I, I don't know. I might have dorked out. <laughs> oh. That's all right. You ever dork out at anybody at the mansion? Any superstars that made you dork out or eh, you're used to celebrities? Mm, definitely way used to celebrities. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the same thing that we I said one other time. I'm sure that the celebrities were starstruck meeting you. That's the other way around. <laughs> there you go. How much Tito's do we have left? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get the Tito's. Let's open it up. Sounds like there's a story so, going um, across the table that can't be told here. <laughs> Any, who would we? <laughs> who would we not be able to read about in the tabloids of who you dated back in the day? Anybody that you want to be exclusive to us for? Because we're nice yes, guys. I could not disclose because I was checked into Betty Ford and that is very private. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know, but it's so good. 
Also, you're really bored. You're in rehab, dead sober bored. Oh. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they watch our podcast. They might want to send us. That's all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, you support everyone. Um, no, I don't know. Like, celebrity. That's funny because, like, our restaurant was already, like, very well known. Yeah. So I was already used to, like, people, like, recognizing our last name, like, just from the restaurant. So what, take off your clothes and now you're, you're, you're next level? I don't know. Like I was already <laughs> used to like being pinpointed or like sure. you know, your family or something like, so I, yes, there was definitely always a um, level of like, how do I act? I act like a goddamn fool. <laughs> <laughs> People are watching, I'll give you a fucking show. Are you ready? <laughs> um. So yeah, I already have like the Wilson brothers, Owen and Luke and um, Andrew. Oh my God. You dated both of them? What? <laughs> what? There's I'm three just joking. Of, there's oh. three. There's one we don't know about. Oh yeah. I Andrew, don't know. Andrew, no, he was in, you would know, he was in um, some Charlie's Angels weird, like he was in the background anyway. Oh. Okay. But yes, they are good for, but I knew them from Dallas, like before okay. Playboy. So when I went and did Playboy, Owen and I were like good friends. Luke and I were good friends. And I was, hmm. I would text him and be like, I'm going to a party in Hollywood or like they would let me in. Like now looking back, Owen let me into some fucking cool ass parties like, <laughs> with yeah. my other playmate friends. Cause it, we were too hot, like 20 somethings. And he's like a decade older than me. So we were looking like good. <laughs> And now I'm like, oh my God, like that just, it feels like a flash of like, a, I didn't appreciate like how cool that was back then. Like, I just was like, oh, my friend from Dallas and like, I don't yeah. know. Like yeah. now I'm like, wait, can I go back to that day? I remember like <laughs> waiting on the street and like the door guy was like, excuse me. And I was like, no, Owen Wilson invited us and he <laughs> is right there. And he was like, Am Amber. <laughs> And I was like, ah, yeah, so, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, let me buy. <laughs> but also, like, I see him in Dallas all the time. He's, like, slept at my house on the couch a thousand times. Like, did I just say couch? <laughs> you did say couch. You, you did. You did. Yeah. Well, anyway. we can go with that. Couch. You keep looking upstairs, but we can go with that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure earlier she said she sleeps on that couch a lot. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you have a great friend right there she just filled your drink up Look, again jen <laughs> yes we get to meet hello you guys are really funny okay wait Thank i have to you. Tell you, was I your tell you, like, now we're gonna talk about jen okay. yes okay. please yes please <laughs> so jen is my very very dear good friend she loves i get fan mail which is a lot i know I know they may get it, but I also have a restaurant. So that's easy for people to like Google and just send shit to. Ah, sure. Also, shout out to Keith. We're going to have to tell Keith. Oh, Keith. Yeah, we are. Yeah. So Keith, I don't know. I love him to death. Yeah. I had this package. I lost it. I told him I sent it. He was crazy checking his mail. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> Keith is coming. I put it back in the pile of, but anyway, it comes to my restaurant, like just random stuff, like I was gone for those four months and the restaurant was like, can you come get your fucking mail? Like, it's like the file full, like nobody, did, we, we don't like a paper trail <laughs> at all at our shady restaurant. So my shit is paper trailing. <laughs> and they're like, can we get this shit? And it was a lot. So Jen comes over and she nicely will open things, lay it out. I have all my markers. I like love that people actually give a shit who the shit I am and they want that's great awesome nice. happy to sign everything and i will do it in the time that i have but then we discovered people send their phone numbers oh fun thank you tito's uh, <laughs> i was gonna say there's some stories coming so now we call people so <laughs> anyone that wants to send an autograph request we start calling or facetiming <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my God, I that's can't so imagine. It's answer. fun. It's fun. Yeah. I'm at home signing it. So I'm already at home doing like what? Nothing. Like, so why wouldn't I just call and be like, what's up? 
Sorry, so, your own words, son. <laughs> yes, that happened. Um, okay, back to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> This there's a lot there are a lot of firsts tonight. But really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've definitely Did I never break the mold. Well, you did. Nobody's ever called <laughs> a reporter on their podcast. <laughs> That's a first. I didn't, they called me or they reached out. Right. No, right. But live, you, you did, which was phenomenal. <laughs> I love it. Very live, very, very raw, very raw footage. Oh, that's you are awesome. You are what we call a perfect podcast guest. <laughs> I aspire to have not my own because I couldn't sit at the same time every day. Every <laughs> yes. Well, well our not. screen is always available for you anytime you want to. Oh come. my god, I should just pop in all the time. Yes, please. Can we yeah, we yeah, can we you can FaceTime us? We'll we'll let you know when we're nice we're recording. In the beard with the tits on the side. Okay. Cut me out? Oh. No, she said dimples in the beard with the tits on the side. Oh, okay. okay. Pay attention. I, I love <laughs> it even more. Out? What? <laughs> I just thought you said the beard and tits. <laughs> no. Uh, well. And I was like, I don't blame you. <laughs> I'd do it too. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else, this, people? <laughs> this is the best. Can we talk about your acting a little bit? Do you have any? Do you have any aspirations to do any more acting? What, what acting did I do? I don't know. A couple movies. Acting like I'm excited right now? No. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Burn. Wah, wah. All right. We got to go. Um, okay, bye. Um, <laughs> no, I was never in a... Was I in a movie? Three, three oh, I was in horror movies. That You know how I got those jobs? No. Honestly. Do you not okay. consider those <laughs> movies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let's not make fun of their movies. Um, I think the one I haven't seen it, but the house, the house is October built looks great. Okay. Okay. So guess why I was in that movie. You want to know why for real? Yes. My good friend, we will not name him. Owen Wilson. No. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. No, he was not. (laughs) My good friend calls me and he goes, Hey, and I'm in Dallas. I'm filming this movie. Can you cater our set? And I go, yeah. And he goes, also, we need a naked chick. Do you mind like doing like a topless scene? And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Sure, I'll be there with the food in a minute. <laughs> so I literally showed up, catered the entire set, and then wore a bra and a trailer in Houses of October. <laughs> and I love then it. For a pants. I didn't know it was like such a like a, it has a following. I had no oh, idea. Heck yeah. I literally like catered the food, made money, dropped my clothes, took a like one second. Like, <laughs> I, 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 it just was, it's hilarious now that I think about it. <laughs> and it's on so my it's, IMDb, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it is on your IMDb. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, that was a catering hilarious. job. Was that so wasn't an acting job. It was a catering it's job. Like a good friend of mine I've known from like childhood that was like, can you please cater? I'm here. I'm working on this set. Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Be right there." And he's also like, "Can you be topless for a minute?" I was like, <laughs> Fine, perfect. All right, good. Are y'all happy? Is the food good? See it. Two birds, do one you, stone. Um, do you get that request a lot from your friends? I, don't even think I got paid. <laughs> I don't think I did. I think you did because you got. You better ask where I your royalties check is. Yeah, know. you got royalty checks coming. You did. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I might need to start an OnlyFans and just wear a pumpkin head around my house. <laughs> what do you mean Halloween start? Because it's Halloween fans, right? It will. Oh yeah. You, you mean start it? another one? Oh, I have like. Oh God, don't tell Dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll start one. She's gonna start one. <laughs> well, it was just. I don't know. Everyone has one, so like, why not? I just exactly. Old- I'm gonna start one. Your typical camera roll of like what you send people. Like, I gotta get it on your camera roll. Paying for my OnlyFans, (laughs) I promise I'm doing this just for you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I feel I feel better now. Well, I feel like you're ruining it for me now. So if my sales decline, I'm coming to Wisconsin. (laughs) They're going to increase. Wait, wait, but that's what we want. So, oh my God. <laughs> damn it. Yeah. How do we do that? Well, we'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs> well, you tell it. I'm I canceling mean, my subscription tonight. <laughs> we have, we had to subscribe. 
It's research. Pure. Okay. Well, it's nothing exciting. It's baby me and naked photos <laughs> of me in a sauna and like oh, I gently know. taking them if it looks like somebody took them. <laughs> we should know the person behind the camera now. We do. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting. Awesome. <laughs> we know everybody now. So no, what else? You have to come to the restaurant, and then you'll know everyone. Well, that that is on the in the list. We we are definitely going to visit. Yeah, I remember we back. We did a bucket list episode. Our bucket list has grown a lot since we started to talk with well, Playmates. We're just going to have experiences, and yeah. that's one of them. Yeah. Is that so that do you visit any of the other restaurants, or that's the main one, the the, the original? I'm very 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 bad about it. Um, yes, we have restaurants that I've never even seen. Oh wow, are <laughs> okay. they? Are they all in the Dallas area? I don't do suburbs. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just leopard print. <laughs> like I cannot exist in the suburbs. Like I would never, like I would like scare the fuck out of everyone. <laughs> so it's better that I exist in the wild, in the city and like by the neighborhood where my peeps are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well, there we are. All That'll right. be a planned trip. All right. So um, anything else you got going on? Restaurant of mine. We have What's that? Pick from. We will not go to any suburban restaurant of mine. No. All right. no. Keep it all in the city. Hang it just city. the one. No, yeah, we're, we're... we can go to the downtown one, maybe. We might go to the bougie, like Highland Park one, where like Housewives of Beverly Hills go or oh. Housewives of Dallas. <laughs> one of those bitches that I know. Who cares? <laughs> uh. I won't even comment on that. Okay. Perfect. Oh, goodness. Look at my little staircase. I didn't even know I set this up so cute. <laughs> it's like I'm in half's bedroom. Half's bedroom had a spiral staircase? Yes. You don't know this? I was no. never in half's bedroom. Oh, I, yeah, I wasn't in there. I would have gone, yeah, but I wasn't. Like, but that's like why I have not like changed it into like a whatever they told me I could change it into. But Heck no, it don't. Did not. I like it. Yeah, you I can't love change it. that. My, mom, my mother is deceased and she found this place. And it was right when I got that. This is how I bought this house was my Playboy contract. Perfect. Oh. So and you saw this because of Playboy. See, Playboy's helping people all over the place. Right. Right. Help me through my youth. Right. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I'm just. My years, Man. my 20s, my 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Last week. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Wait, how have I refilled my drink three times and y'all are drinking the same drink? Because we don't have a producer here to <laughs> take care of our cocktails. Oh, so now she's a producer. She just got really excited about her new yeah, She's like show producer. She's over there Googling <laughs> shit. And... She's the producer. <laughs> You're the producer. We need we need you in this seat. Well, right yeah, here. we need you filling our drinks. I know. I need to be there filling your drinks. And yeah, they're empty. Definitely. But I, know. I know. They have been for a long time. I keep straws. picking it up. <laughs> no, I don't need a straw. Well, not for <laughs> Perfect. Um, so put in a good word at your dad. Let's set up getting him on because I'd love to talk to you both again. Oh my god, dad. Can we get yes. down? Like what would what would the theme be though that we would get down on a podcast for? Oh my god. We what, could just crazy restaurant story. I mean he stories. could just tell us to, like what are you watching over there by the way? Oh I don't even know. <laughs> I is that on? I have no idea. Word I think your dad would just be words of wisdom. Yeah, right? Words of wisdom he from has dad. So many like philosophies yeah. from cork uh yeah his like his quirky quirky, quirky yeah. isms. Which that's sounds quirky as quirky as it should be. That's what we need. What we need to do is just like he like this is like, and I will leave you with this little nugget. Okay. Look, no <laughs> gray hair. This is per. I just got my grays covered for this. Me too. <laughs> and now it's really in there. <laughs> I just shaved mine off, okay, but go ahead, that, go. He says, in his words of wisdom, I'll leave you with this. If a rooster could pull a freight train, and I told you that, hook him up. What? What? I don't know. what? Wait, what? Did you finish? Did you? Did you finish it? <laughs> you asked that. You asked that to a lot of ladies, don't you? Yeah. No, but think about it. If a rooster could yet? pull a freight train, 
hook him up. Oh. <laughs> so you're just putting faith in this idiot person that just told you that and made you wait to fucking listen. Ah, <laughs> uh, woo. See, your dad's See, smart. I can't, I can't do it. Your dad's, no, your dad's. He's th- smart, but also like fucks with you. <laughs> like he yes. like, has like good shit, but then he'll fuck with you. Like, <laughs> yes. Oh, it's perfect. Well, that was that's why our drink was all Tito's. All right. <laughs> before you go, do you want do you want to promote anything before you before you go? I want to promote Devils in the Beard. <laughs> Amber, we love you. We want to, we we need to we need to cut that out and just I know. We're going to we're going to make a clip out of that. <laughs> and take 2. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you've been, no, you thank guys you are lovely. Thank you for not asking me a bunch of shit about NFTs because I would have died. I would have been like, I don't know. Yeah. No, we, we were, we'll definitely I like look out for them. Clubs and just random shit. <laughs> here's, a, here's what I know. All I'll say about NFTs is once your trading card is out, I'm going to buy packs until I have one. That's what I'm going to say. So, yeah. I love yeah. That. Heck yeah. So, Heck yeah. Thank you so much. And like we said, thank anytime. You. Thank you guys so much. Um, let me think about dad getting on. Yep, yeah, we would love I mean, it. He, first of all, it would be like, we would have to like pre-record him even trying to like sign on <laughs> on a computer. <laughs> uh, special. That He's my would, special child. Just trying to, to get to the podcast. Oh, oh my God. God, like has no idea. Like are That's, gonna, that's are, the best part. Are you going to tell him to watch this one though? He would not know how, nor would I. I no, I do. I do. Jen's gonna do I. Uh, all right. Well. Uh, oh well, God! Thank I can you. Take my outfit off now. You, you guys, this big. <laughs> Literally not even wearing pants. <laughs> it is a dead series. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank help. you. Good night, Amber. Good night. <laughs> thank you for listening. The tavern is closed for now, but we'd love to have you back for more fun next time. Seriously, though, get your asses out of here. <laughs>